Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Mars Games, and I am back with more Undertale. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing a pacifist run, uh, because I hear that the pacifist run changes a little bit if you've done a genocide, genocide run uh, right before it. I also know that I should name my character Chara, so that's what I'm going to do. And uh, this time we're just going to make up for all the horrible sh shit, you know, that we did last time. We're not going to kill Papyrus, uh, and uh, that's makes it all worth it, let me tell you, because I love Papyrus. Uh, I, I love him so much. Uh, how high, Flowey. I know how things work around here, man. Don't you remember me? Gain a lot of love. I'm not going to be gaining any love today, son. Friendliness pellets. Ooh, I believe you. Oh, he grifted me. He frickin' grifted me. You idiot. You grifted me, sir. Kill or be killed. In this world? Son, that's... That's the real world. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Dunno! Cool, man. Oh, hey, Toriel. I missed you. I'm not gonna kill you this time. You're, you're a good goat mom. First human to come here in a long time. Hasn't been that long. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Always be filled with determination, ladies and gentlemen. You need it. You need it in life. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Just like in real life, step on switches, pull levers, and all the doors will open. How could I have been so blind? You will need to trigger several switches. Well, I don't want to trigger anyone. People get pretty mad. Monsters may attack you. Jesus, that sounds brutal. Worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. You got it, toots. Hey, dummy. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Well, now if he's gonna be rude back, you know, let's, whatever. Maybe I don't want to talk to it. I did it. I am success. I am very good. I wonder if I can solve it. Oh, shit. It's a frog it. What am I gonna do? You're, you're looking pretty cute there, Froggit. Yeah, you don't mess with me when Goat Mom's around. Goat Mom will, like, destroy your entire life. I've seen her do it. Um, pretty sure I could do this on my own, man. Uh, I've been here before. Cool, man. Too dangerous for now. You got it. Oh no. 
Not this again. The most stressful stuff ever. Not killing Papyrus or Sans. Getting across this long room. Ah, uh, the fear. Can you hear the sincerity in my voice? I don't know how I'm going to make it. This hallway is too long. I can't handle this. You did not leave me. Yeah, you did. Just because you were still in the same room doesn't mean you didn't leave me. You have not left the room, have you? That room was terrifying! Why wouldn't I leave it? Be good, alright? I guess. What's up, man? Uh-huh. Might not want to battle me anymore, huh? They shouldn't want to battle me to begin with. Why is everyone gonna be so hostile? Why can't we just all love each other? Only take one. Follow the rules, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you do. Don't be a dick. When you're a, when you're a dick in life, you, you get nothing. Hey, Froggit, you're looking pretty sexy. Bye-bye. Oh god, I'm dead. It was a ruse. I was never dead to begin with. Oh, no more combat. Oh, this guy doesn't even care. I like him. He doesn't want to fight. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Uh, it's still butterscotch. Actually, you know what? I actually hate cinnamon. If you make me cinnamon pie, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna flip out. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Appreciate what you're given. Hey, Froggit. Um, I don't know what else to, how else to compliment him. You got a cool nose. See ya. Have a good day. Leave me alone, go mom. It's just like, you know, just like a real mom. Nagging. You got any allergies? Uh... Let's see if I can get this on the first try. Do I remember it? No, I don't. But that's okay. Yeah, hey, no, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I'm a good boy. Or girl. I'm not really sure. Cool, we did it. Oh, I'm old small. Bye. <laughs> hey, I remember you. You're the one thing I didn't kill in the genocide run. For some reason. You're the one thing I didn't kill in the genocide run, but you're also probably the most annoying thing. Just get on the switch and stay there, boy. Peace. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese? Fills you with determination. Right on. The cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Hey, Napsipluk. I didn't get to see you last playthrough. I missed you. You're a, you're a good ghost. Hell yeah, move it with force. It's in the way. Here comes Napsipluk. Uh, cheer him on. You're doing a good job, Napsipluk. This is tough for me to dodge, because I suck. Looks just a bit better. Well, you know what? Don't let anyone get you down, Napsablook.
You're amazing, Napstablook. Dapper Blook. I love it. It's amazing. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Uh, I don't even have seven gold, man. You know, being nice... It's, wow, it's just like real life. Being nice gets you no money when you're a dick and, uh... You just, you know, steal from everyone, you become rich. Just look at, uh, Wall Street. Oh shit! I didn't even read anything he said, but I already know all the information anyway. Hello! Wow, since he cleaned up, I don't care, dude! Probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. I'm not gonna clean your house for you, man. Uh, let us go get the ribbon. And there's Blook. Naps to Blook. Go talk to him slash her as well. Vegetoid? Why don't you feed me something, Vegetoid? Eat your greens! It was very delicious, thank you. Oops. Uh, hey, Napster Blook! How you doing? I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Ghosts can fly, man! Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Yeah. Oh, well. There you go. See, buddy? Just gotta believe in yourself. <clears throat> believe in yourself and you can do anything, Napstablook. Uh, this again. This one? Yeah. Ah, leave me alone. I don't want to fight. Don't pick on. Finally, somebody gets it. What does don't pick on mean? Do I just show up to him and not say anything? Does that guy's life so sad that people just walk up to him and talk shit? Like immediately? Oh, another one. Peace. Or another one? Or the same one, trying not to get picked on. Ooh, he's just stalking me. Uh, hey, Froggy, what's up? Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit! Cool, man. She's pretty scary. I'm gonna take this knife and not even equip it. Who needs knives? Yeah, you left me abandoned in a room. It's still a pretty dick move, Toriel. I walked. I was hurt? I didn't even know. <laughs> Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, it's so nice of you. You still left me alone in a scary room, surrounded by froggets. Couldn't you have brought me here, and then, you know, gotten the groceries while I was asleep, and then made the pie while I was asleep, instead of just leaving me in a dungeon filled with monsters. Not that I, uh... You know, not that I hold anything against you. 
regular old bucket of snails. What? Oh, no, I wanted to read this. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling only. <sighs> okay. I need to get out of this house. These are the kind of puns I have to deal with. It's me! Alrighty then, let's just, uh, whoa, what's this? Empty photo frame. Sad. Alright, well, it's been a long day of froggets and falling down mountains, so time to for a nap, and oh, look at that! It's a frickin' pie! I'm gonna keep that for Asgore. Uh, not that I know who Asgore is. Uh, shush. Already, I see. Uh, so many books I want to share. Blah blah blah. How do I leave? I need. I want to leave. Did you want something? Yeah. Can I leave? This is your home now. Oh, Toriel. I know you mean well. But uh, I don't think you have the best judgment. Whoa! What the hell is wrong in her mouth? You see? Where you going? I want to hang out. Don't leave me alone again. Why does everyone leave me alone? One way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. Alright. No one will ever be able to leave again. Don't be a good child and go upstairs. No! I don't want to be alone. <laughs> Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. They come, they leave, they die. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I don't want to fight you, Toriel. Aww. So I know you just have to continually spare her, uh, but I like to imagine that uh, Chara just stands here in, like, a hugging position, and Toriel just keeps shooting fireballs at her. Like, like a bitch. I just want to hug. I also know you can't really die in this fight unless you, like, try to. So I'm not gonna bother wasting any healing items or anything like that. Now I can just stand still and not get hit. Attack or run away? Nah. You don't have to... What are you proving by doing this? You don't have to, uh, hurt people in life, Toriel. You can solve everything through talking. Stop it. No. I will never stop trying to hug you. Stop looking at me that way. Never. I'm gonna kill you with kindness. This is riveting gameplay right here, boys. Looks through me. I won't stop loving you until you let me leave! I know you want to go home, but... but... Please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save, e save even a single child. 
You think that I need saving, but you gotta let me prove myself, Toriel. Oh, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. Oh, Toriel, you can come with me. I don't want you to be lonely. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Oh, Toriel, you can come with me. I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. I love you, Toriel. Miss you. Sorry for killing you in a past life. Uh, well, okay, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're gonna continue on and meet Sans and Papyrus. I'm so excited because I don't have to kill them. See you then.